Hello, hope you're doing great. This is Mare Paneer Rajan and I'm a software developer and have been for over 11 years now. And the primary language that I use for developing software is a language called Python. So in this series of videos, I would like to share my experiences and uh, the things that I have learned when it comes to programming with Python. So this series of videos you can consider it as a course or a tutorial, uh, basically is uh, for beginners who are uh, who want to get started with programming and would require some kind of guidance or some kind of pointers as to how to uh, write their first program uh, and become comfortable with this language called Python. So yeah, so it's going to be an interesting series of videos and uh, I hope you get a lot of value out of it. So basically the objective of a computer programming language is to help us humans communicate with machines, right? So um, for example, uh, a machine that you use on a daily basis, a light switch, right? Like you, when you press the switch, right? when you press the switch, the light turns on and when you press it, back again the light switch is off right so it's a simple machine right that basically uh, does the automation of turning a light on basically illuminating your room right so 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 the idea is now by pressing that button the light turns on and by pressing it off the light turns off now many of you uh, must have you know like seen these cereal bulbs, right? Like, uh, especially in all these festivals and, you know, like uh, in these Thiruvalas or, you know, like all these, uh, whenever there's a big festival, especially in India, right? Like we have all these cereal light -like bulbs, right? So, and, uh, you know, like you must have observed that in these cereal light -like bulbs, there's usually a small, uh, you know, like box, like box, right? That, and out of that box is where the cereal light -like comes out. You know, that, that wire comes out, which has all these different uh, small, small light bulbs, right? So now, you know, like, uh, if you get a chance the next time, right? Like, if you, if there's some kind of a serial light set that is lying around, if you just, like, take it up and, you know, if you open that box and see there is a small kind of a chip, like, a small kind of a motherboard, it's basically, like, this serial bulb is just a smarter version or a more uh, a programmed series of light bulbs and that program as to how these different light bulbs in that wire should um, turn on or off is programmed into that chip into that motherboard that is inside that small box so you know like uh, the reason i explained this is because you know like somebody had programmed which are the lights that had to be turned on or off and you would have seen during uh, Christmas time or like during all these as I mentioned in Tiruvalas and all right like there are all these really uh, uh, interesting light patterns that you know like these serial bulbs uh, get illuminated in and these things are actually programmed in that chip in that small chip now now the thing is that's something that is really interesting right like when Somebody has programmed, right? Somebody has, some human has done that, right? Like it didn't just appear out of nowhere, right? Some guy has sat through and thought of a set of instructions uh, that he has programmed on that chip to make that light, that, that you know, the serial set uh, to get illuminated in interesting patterns. So that's essentially programmed. That's pretty much it. Now, instead of programming on that small chip or small board, uh, in computers, you know, like using the motherboard that is in the computer, we get, as computer programmers, we get the opportunity to build more interesting automations, more interesting and more smarter missions which basically make our lives easier. So that's basically, you know, uh, what programming is all about. That really fascinates me all the time, you know, like, so uh, you're basically getting this 
opportunity <laughs> uh, to talk to machines, right? So you are basically how you basically when you know to code, when you know to program, what that essentially means is you have now the superpower to make missions, you know, like inanimate missions. You know, you, you have this option, you have this ability now to make inanimate missions to be animated, to do things that you want them to do and make your life and the life of the people around you easier. So basically, that's what uh, programming is all about. Now, you know, like now, now, you know, that, 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 and this is something that you come across on, a, on an everyday basis, right? So then you go to an ATM machine, right? Like, so, uh, you know, you have all these buttons. When you click on a button, you know, like it shows you the main menu and you, you know, when you click on another button, it, you know, like, and most of the ATMs these days have a touch screen, right? So when you click on the, uh, you have all these different options, whether you want to go to the main menu or when you, whether you want to withdraw cash or, you know, all those things, right? So, so this is basically somebody had programmed that, right? Somebody had written code or smart, thought of a smart, um, set of instructions uh, that he has written somewhere that, that had to be written right like and that program that set of instructions that somebody wrote is basically is essentially a program and that's what uh, has been that has been written on that mission you know like and and thereby because the mission has those sort of smart instructions it is able to logically provide us all these different options which is useful to us. So basically, um, that's what programming is all about. It's all about creating useful products or rather making missions, you know, like making missions useful and uh, smarter by means of writing instructions and giving you know it a set of commands that it has to obey when uh, certain uh, certain things are done to it so yeah so that's basically you know like uh, a, a gist or a, an idea of what uh, programming enables you to do